And we're back, and we just finished watching 2021's Flora and Ulysses, currently streaming on Disney+. Plus. The movie is P rated PG-13, with a runtime of 1 hour 35 minutes. It's directed by Lena Khan, with a script by Brad Copeland, based on a novel by Kate DiCamillo. The story follows... I thought it was just PG. It is just PG. What did I say? You said PG-13. Oh, I meant PG. Sorry. <laughs> I pointed to the PG. Oh, sorry. So both of my kids read the actual novel previously, and Not previously, actually, maybe a few months ago. Right. That that's, that's previously. previously. <laughs> or maybe last year. No. Okay. Oh well, God. whatever the case may be, yeah. both of my children read this novel, and did you like it, Chi? The book? You thought it was cute. Yeah, I thought it was cute. What about you, Wallop I enjoyed it, although okay. I hated the mother. Yeah. You know what? I disliked the mother in the book. However, I feel like the people in the film were more likable. Yeah, they, I, I remember because Olive had to read it for school. Well, she didn't have to read it for school, but. Yeah, she read it. It was like it was like reading out loud, reading practice, and yeah. I would sit there while she read, and she read to me. And the mother was not likable in the book. In at the all. slightest. In and the I, slightest. I didn't really even care for Flora, to be honest. Uh, everybody was a little off in that book. Yeah, they were yeah like, a little abrasive, a little weird, yeah, beyond weird. It was, it was like you know one of those books where everybody's kind of quirky and not necessarily but not in a good ones. way yeah. or fun way and that was the other thing that i disliked about yeah, the book the and it was funny quirky. because when we found out that this was going to be a movie i think olive had just recently finished yeah, reading I, the book i think it was like like two, like a week later after she was they announced the book, that was this like, was oh, coming, out. Movie coming out but it's interesting because um yeah i agree like i sat with her certain nights to read the book too and i just couldn't stand the mother and flora was strange but she seemed like a socially awkward strange and i felt like the message in the book was a little different i mean i could be wrong it was i i hated that the mother wanted flora to be normal normal right not weird or something and that was her motivation for getting rid of the squirrel i think here she just wanted something to blame for her lack of i guess well she didn't really block. blame oh. the squirrel yeah, she said that, everything mm -hmm. is on me yeah I th she I think, did and, actually and this, and this the mother was was uh the squirrel was almost sort of like an afterthought it was just like she wanted to get rid of the squirrel because it was a squirrel you don't bring a squirrel that you find outside into the house that was that's actually a pretty valid normal reason. reaction sure. one of my kids came home i came home and the kids were like we found a squirrel outside and now he's living in the couch yeah. I, I would just be like <laughs> what no that's yeah. not happening right right but i felt like she was it. looking for something to blame for like the recent events that had transpired in her family i felt like I, so, but I, I don't think it was the squirrel yes yeah, she, I, she no, no, just... I don't think it was the squirrel's fault either but I think she needed something to blame or take it out on and she sort of took it out on the squirrel take it out on and blame are two different things yeah I, I, I don't know about that I, no I, I didn't I, I maybe a, maybe a little or maybe like I think the squirrel was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, time. because sure she, she was clearly. She stressed snapped. Out, stressed out right. and upset. And yeah, I guess, uh, like you said, she snapped. And I mean, there, nothing bad happens. Yeah, no, it's, every, 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 it's, it's, it's a, a, yeah, it's a movie Disney movie. movie. <laughs> and as far as that sequence goes, everything kind of resolves of its own. It, right. It's just sort of like... But in the book, it's more... It's different because you don't really know why the parents broke up, but you're kind of grateful because they seem to operate on completely different wavelengths in the book yeah the mother's the very uh i guess like stuck up and and pretentious Pre yeah pretentious because oh comics are low low class and you should be reading books you should only be reading books and the father just seemed like a schlub yeah he was a coward he was yeah a coward he was schlub. yeah he i don't know I, and it's funny because when we're reading the book with with olive i was like i don't understand how these two even got together to begin with i told you earlier yeah what? I said that Phyllis needs someone to keep under her thumb. 
Right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Like she did. But relationship. well, that's just what I assume. Yes. That's no. I think that's. Sense. I that think that's pretty. Yeah. That makes yeah. total sense. Yeah. But in the movie. But it's in the movie, not every like it's all. not like that at all. all which all the characters are actually very likable. Quite likable. Uh, the one thing I probably didn't quite get is why they broke up in the movie. I think in the movie he just left because he felt like a total failure. And up until that point, it seems like she's the breadwinner here. And she's yeah, like yeah. on this crazy streak of writing all these romance novels. Like she has all these pictures on the walls of all the, of all the novels that she's you know written. What? Yeah, that makes sense. Was it after he left that she got her writer's block? Because I think so. I think she so. was so successful at writing novels because she was in a loving relationship. She was in a loving relationship, right. and then he just couldn't, could be able to he write couldn't something. he couldn't deal with his own failures. Failures, right? So he decided to bail, skip, to skip bail, out. Yeah. yeah, which is yeah, not not really the best. Well, John Raffio isn't the smartest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the lovely Ben Schwartz was playing the George father. Buckman, John Raffio, Allison um, Hannigan played Phyllis. Parks and Rec. Parks and Rec. Um, Matilda Lawler was Flora. Lawler? Lawler. 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 Imagine if, uh... Who was the, the, the game warden or whatever? Is that Daniel Pooty? Is that his name? Pooty. Yeah. Daniel Pooty, yeah. Imagine if, uh, From, uh Flora's dad was John Raphael and... And Flora's mother was, um, Mona Lisa. Oh, the that would have been weird. Yeah, I mean, not. I feel like for an hour and thirty-five minutes, this was decent. It was. No, I it was well done. The the FX work on that goddamn squirrel was brilliant. The squirrel, yeah. Like the, squirrel and the, cat. the squirrel looked fantastic. The, the cat, meh. The Mr. cat was just okay. I think but the cat, the Mr. Cat Claus was, made, the cat was, was made to look especially vicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were like that thing looked like a mountain lion. Yeah. This shit made him fatter, like, in the book. I didn't like that. Yeah. I think it came across that that cat was a dirtbag. <laughs> Completely. It did. I, yeah. I, 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 the, the sequence where the cat is attacking the the animal control guy. Danny Booty. Near the pool? Booty, near the pool. I love that. And Ollie yeah. was laughing hysterically. She was screaming laughing. That look, that was like funny because I've, I, for some reason, I've always found cats, people being attacked people being, by cats. People being attacked by like hyper vicious cats. <laughs> Hilarious. I, I remember. Which is interesting because this happened to you, so you would think yes, that it would I'd, not, yeah, you'd you think would be adverse to this. Having grown up the victim of an especially abusive cat. <laughs> I grew up with this cat named Tina, who is this tiny ball of terror. Just. <laughs> horribly nasty, vicious little thing that only loved my sister, and everybody else would pay the she price. Would just tear them open, <laughs> like unprovoked. Like I'd be, like my mom would yell at me or something, and I'd be crying, and the cat would run at me and start clawing my head. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's horrible. Just like abuse upon abuse. Well, didn't you say when you were like a baby, it sliced your diaper or something? Yeah. <laughs> and everybody would be laughing a stare. I'd be like, I'd, Terrified. I'd come down the staircase in my diaper, apparently, and I'd look around the edge of the banister and I'd look, and there was a door to the dining room, and that's where Tina would be. And I would run down the hallway past that door to the kitchen, and the cat would just come out and be like, hey. <laughs> just tearing my diaper as I'm running in horror. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can't see that. Up for you. Uh, sure I think I Grandma got abused too, didn't she? Grandma got cut up by the cat. It, it, it didn't bother my dad because apparently it scratched him once and he just like punted it across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I never bothered him again. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, we were. <laughs> We've got on a crazy no, that's tangent. tangent about violent cats. <laughs> Olive, what, what did you think of the movie? I thought it was great. Yeah? yeah. What what do you like about it? Uh, any any highlights? I hated I hated how it ended with you know. Oh, you didn't like all right, we're not gonna give away. Oh yeah, we're not gonna, gonna, gonna try not to give away spoilers, but yeah, the book yeah, ending like, and the movie just ending came are out different. Today, yeah? yeah, the book ending and the movie ending are a little bit different and uh yeah, you might feel a little bit, I guess, uh, maybe like wondering why they chose to do 
make a specific choice at the very, 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 very end of the movie. So it doesn't hurt the enjoyment of the movie, though. But uh, things that you like, though. Things that you like. Uh, Who was your favorite character in the story? Ulysses. Mm -hmm. Ulysses was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for a movie about a, a like a, a, a hyper intelligent squirrel, they they did a good job with that squirrel, and it wasn't like it wasn't saccharine. No, you it know? was sweet, it but was it wasn't sweet. saccharine. And, yeah, and even when the, the squirrel's like writing poetry, you know, they they find out he could like verbalize through a typewriter and stuff. The, the poems are actually you know, sweet. Still a little sweet things, yeah. mostly having to do with him being hungry. <laughs> Gracie, what, uh, what did you think about it? Uh, I enjoyed this movie. Yeah? Was there anything especially that you enjoyed or highlights or favorite characters? Uh, my favorite character was probably also Ulysses, and my favorite part was probably when William Spiver and John Ralphie are being interrogated in his apartment. Oh, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's so he's, horrible. He is so <laughs> terrible at lying, yeah. That was hilarious. That was hilarious, George. Yeah, George is not good under pressure. Um, did you? Wait, I didn't say what was my favorite. What was your favorite yeah, part? I'll, I'll let you. Uh, I like the part where that guy threw Mr. Klaus in the pool, oh. and then he just like his head poked out. <laughs> And then he just, like, Mario in. jumped on him. <laughs> <laughs> His head came like, up like... Sure. Yeah, that, that, that cat was just... He was like a predator. <laughs> His head came up like Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Or the evil turtle in Gumball. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 did you, what did you think about... The differences in the... Do you still remember the novel or no? What did you think about the differences in the novel and the movie? Okay. I know that you're an active reader, so I sometimes I wonder how... Because I know a lot of people are of the belief that books are better than movies. And to me, it's a completely different medium. And obviously with movies, you have to work with certain time constraints. So it's sometimes it's difficult to parlay that different media into a film but for something like this it's a kid's book it, it's not a long epic novel were there what did you think about the differences and do you think that the differences worked in the movie or didn't work in the movie what do you think i like the novel better yeah yeah okay because it was more detailed or well the ending is different I didn't like the ending of the movie, like, at all. Yeah. That was stupid. Ulysses was different. I think I liked, I definitely liked Ulysses better in this one, though. Yeah. Well, he, because you see him, right? He's all cuddly and... Well, in the book, there's pictures. True, and He's true. bald. Ulysses He's basically bald. Not attractive at all. Well, they well, made this... messed up. Right? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Into a vacuum. He was, like, yeah. furry and bald, and he had, like, spots on him. Yeah, and Ulysses kept sniffing his tail. No, I mean, he is an animal. I mean, he's a what... squirrel, but, like, you would think that he'd stop doing, like, that stuff. He also made super, like, superhero poses, like, uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man pose, and Superman. Oh, in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They definitely were, were uh, uh, heavy on the... borrowing heavily from that Marvel property. Yeah. yeah, especially in the beginning, right? Especially in the beginning, it's it's definitely. And I I don't think that was a big in the in the novel. I don't remember. The, the only hero mentioned in the novel is the Inca Incandesto. Incandesto. Yeah, I don't know where the other the super bomb and the other one came from. <laughs> Shobo, Shobo yeah. the, Shobo, homeless, the homeless, homeless fighter. Assassin or whatever. <laughs> assassin. I don't know where those two came from, but. It definitely, it seemed like that was a more, a bigger focus in this story as opposed to the novel. Well, they made it, they made it more integral to the family because right. it, in the, in the book, Incandesto is just her favorite comic, comic book right. Read, George where, doesn't create yeah, it. And, and, and here in the film, this one, George, George is the, is the maker of, of those comics. Incandesto and Shobo and, and Falcon Woman. No, whatever. Cardinal something, Cardinal. I, I think I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah. Some, like a hawk woman, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, again, it, it's it's difficult to translate existing media into films sometimes. But I feel like Disney did a good job here. It's very family friendly. Yeah. 
Very. Anybody could watch this. Again, it's rated PG, so... It's rated PG. Even, even there's the, no even the cat elements. attack that I mentioned, there's no blood. Yeah, no it's blood. very... To me, it was very reminiscent of, like, old comedy. Kind of like the Stooges. Like, ex exaggerated, like... Physical, physical comedy. As far as that goes. As, as yeah, far as that yeah, particular scene like goes, right. spinning around and a little homage to uh, Alien. There. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. There was a little homage to Alien. There isn't, I mean, there's some some slight tension, but not anything like, like a jump scare in a horror film, right? I think no, this is very, very I mean, team. It's, it's, I would it's say, super tame. There, there's, yeah, there, there's nothing in here really objectionable. Uh, I would say ages four and up, maybe, or... Yeah, probably. I mean, even like like when they're when they're uh, what's his name the the animal control guy, he's got like a Miller. he's got like some guns that shoot like darts, and, <laughs> and even that stupid. isn't really like nobody's really getting hurt by the darts, even when they're hit by them. It's, it's it's played for just total laughs. Laughs, like, oh, yeah. Oh no, I can't feel my hand. Like, yeah, yeah. That that kind of thing. My favorite scene was, which is completely different in the book, when Flora confronts Phyllis and Phyllis brings out Ulysses from her bag and then reads the poem. I thought the poem was very sweet. She yeah. gave it to Flora. And she gave, well, she gave it to Flora to read. I thought that was beyond sweet. Yeah. That's... And that was one of, I think that was my favorite Part in the film. The, I mean, overall, the, the, the film is very cute. It's very family friendly. It came out today. Yeah, if, if you're it, looking if you got, for something to enter, yeah. You know, watch a film with the family. It's it's not one of those kids' films where you're an adult's going to be sucking their teeth and be like, oh god, I can't this is so boring. Can't wait for this to end. Yeah, it's 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 very cute. It's it, it moves along it quickly. Moves it's along an quickly. hour and a half, got, and it's got some it's got some decent jokes in it. It did. It did. And there were a couple of times where you and I laughed out loud. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I I would recommend this. Yeah. I recommend it too. Oh, let's go around the table and get everyone's numbers. All, uh, Olive G, one to ten. What do you give this movie? Um, eight. An eight. Hmm. I'd probably give this like a yeah, somewhere seven or eight. I was gonna say seven and a half or eight. Yeah. What do you say, Jay? I'd also say eight. Yeah. The ending I wish had been different, only because of. Yeah, I felt it wasn't necessary. Yeah. The the decision made at the end, I, I don't think it was necessary. I mean, you could sort of like maybe wrap some logic around the the decision. Mm -hmm. Oh but, yeah. But yeah, they could have they could have honestly ended it like maybe ten minutes earlier. Yeah. Pretty and they could have ended really, it like the book, fine. which would have been better. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So if you haven't seen it. Check out Disney Plus's Flora and Ulysses. You won't be disappointed. It's very sweet. It's very cute. It's very family friendly. Nothing objectionable. No cursing. No double entendre. No weird situations. Nothing of the kind. Just sweet, wholesome fun. A love letter to, I guess, the superhero genre. And... Sort of. Sort of. It's, I mean... Uh, what it's it it references superheroes, but it doesn't lean on them so heavily. You know, it doesn't. But it, I thought it was interesting that this I think child. It's, it's more of like a, a family story. It is a family there's, story. There's no there's no like world ending threat that Ulysses no, no, has no, no, to no. save the save the earth from. It's 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 pretty much just a family going through some stuff and. Through the magic of a squirrel. Uh, <laughs> a very cute squirrel. Uh, and I'm sure you will see strong. Ulysses in stuffed animal form. Some, I can, I can totally point. see that. The Ulysses is damn cute. Yeah. Cute. There oh should my God. definitely be some licensing and merchandise involved in this. Yeah, your kids will like Ulysses. Yes, very, very much so. Well, Greyjoy is even cuter. Yes, Greyjoy the rabbit is even cuter. He's you upstairs. You can sell merchandise on this YouTube channel. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's never going to happen. Yes. All right, so that's it from us, and we will bid you all good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. night.